I'm getting ready to watch the last, hopefully, uh, GOP primary debate. It's going to be featuring a man who won't win the nomination and a woman who also won't win the nomination. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Also, as a plot update, Chris Christie, who would not have been at this debate anyway, did officially drop out of the race this morning. He spent a lot of time in his speech criticizing Trump and congratulating himself, and he did not endorse any of the other non-Trump candidates because they all said that they would endorse Trump, and he cannot abide that. So, okay, we're at the first commercial break, so we're going to go through everything that's happened so far. In their opening statements, DeSantis was like, you know, I am excellent at taking down the teachers' unions, and then he went after Nikki Haley, and then Nikki Haley launched a website that she's got called DeSantisLies.com and said that if you were playing a drinking game where you drank every time Ron DeSantis lied during this debate, you would be overserved by the end of the night, and she made a joke about it because they're, like, doing the debate on a college campus in Iowa, and, like, college students love drinking games, and LOL, LOL, and then she went after Ron DeSantis, and neither one of them really addressed the elephant who isn't in the room, so the moderator's like, okay, guys, Let's talk about it. Do you think that Donald Trump has the character to be president? And uh, Nikki Haley was like, I think the next president needs to have moral clarity. Uh, he's not right for this time, whatever. And Ron DeSantis was like, honestly, Donald Trump didn't even get Mexico to pay for the border wall. And then he started attacking Nikki Haley. And then Nikki Haley said that Trump should defend his record. And I was like, his criminal record? Are we going to talk about it? And instead, she said that he didn't punish China for COVID. And she's, she's disappointed about that. Then they got to the economy. And I think the thing I want to talk about here is the tax rates, because Nikki Haley said that we should have simpler tax brackets, which I feel like is her getting closer and closer to a flat tax without saying it. And then we had Ron DeSantis, who had already previously said that he was up for a flat tax. And a flat tax means that the mega millionaires and the billionaires, they get taxed at the same rate as the rest of us. So it's, it's problematic. It's kind of super obviously problematic. And Ron DeSantis was like, well, actually it would be fine because I would reduce the scope and size of the government. So everyone would be doing better. And it would be fine if we, we taxed everyone at the same rate. And then he was like, you know, actually, I mean, like it wouldn't really count because like a certain amount of, you know, I wouldn't tax everybody. And then all of his words, became a soup and I blacked out. Um, okay, then we got to the border and both of them got to try and prove that they hate immigrants the most. Uh, Nikki Haley wants to support Ukraine, Ron DeSantis, not so much. And then they got into, should we force, not should we force, but should we support Israel forcing all of the Palestinians out of Gaza? And Ron DeSantis was like, honestly, honestly, I think we should let Israel do whatever they want. Like if they feel like they need to do that, I mean like, I just think that we should let them do whatever they want. And uh, Nikki Haley said that Israel was a white spot. I mean, I'm sorry, a bright spot in a tough neighborhood. Just as a side note, I do think that the actual drinking game to be playing tonight would be to drink every time that Nikki Haley says DeSantisLies.com. Okay, we're at commercial break number two. Uh, so they talked about education and they were both like, look, number one, we hate queer kids. And number two, we believe in school choice, which if you don't know what school choice is, it's like a fancy way of saying that you do not support public schools. Um, okay. Then they talked about social security and Ron DeSantis was like, I would never raise the retirement age in the face of declining life expectancy, which honestly, no notes, except for then Nikki Haley was like, except you uh, did vote to do that three times and then she was like responsibly and respectfully fuck people in their 20s they don't really need the same benefits as older people need now okay and then they were talking about congress just like real quick and ron DeSantis said that they should have term limits which interesting then they asked them if there was a difference in the way that they and donald trump viewed the constitution nikki haley was basically like donald trump thinks the election was stolen and i don't before hitting on a bunch of like scary anti letting everybody vote concepts like how we should have more photo ID laws and how all votes should be counted on the exact same day and how she's worried about the safety of voting in just like a handful of states. You know, just like a handful of states. Then Ron DeSantis was like, you know, I'm with George Washington. And it is fair to criticize Donald Trump, but it's also fair to criticize the CDC. And then they asked about Donald Trump's lawyer's defense like a couple days ago or yesterday or whatever, saying that uh, the president should be, you know, able to like be immune from all persecution for anything, including assassinating his political rivals. And Ron DeSantis 
Oh, he said uh, that that like won't be a problem with him because he wants to be a president that you can be proud of. And he and his wife spend every day trying to make their kids proud. And that's what he would do about that. Nikki Haley was like, yeah, definitely. You probably shouldn't be able to assassinate your political rivals. Oh, and they did both say that Donald Trump is like maybe a little bit too polarizing for the general, just like maybe a little bit. They also talked about abortion and I would love to tell you what they said, but my blood was boiling the whole time. And we're at another commercial break. Okay, they asked them about climate change and Ron DeSantis was like, look, I get it. We need clean energy. You know, I'm gonna innovate. Just don't like force me to innovate, you know? Oh, and then Nikki Haley bragged about leaving the Paris Climate Accord. And then on crime, they were like, do you guys believe as Donald Trump has suggested that we should have martial law in the blue states? And Nikki Haley was like, I think uh, we should defund sanctuary cities and have the cops backs. And Ron DeSantis was like, I've never supported BLM. Oh, and then the moderators asked them like for something that they liked about the other person. And Ron DeSantis said that Nikki Haley was like, all right, at the UN, and then that South Carolina is good, and he likes that. About Nikki Haley and Nikki Haley said that Ron DeSantis was a good governor. In closing, Nikki Haley talked about how we cannot have four more years of chaos, and that's what we would have with Donald Trump. Uh, and then she talked about the polls, which have her beating Biden in the general. And then Ron DeSantis pretty much regurgitated everything that his writers had written for him earlier in the night, or maybe it was all supposed to be for the final speech and he just got nervous and used it earlier and then had to use it again. I don't know, but he talked about wanting to run under a bold banner of colors and how Nikki Haley is pastels and 